Dr. Monica Musenero, a Ugandan disease expert, helped battle the Ebola outbreak in Sierra Leone. She says if Liberia hadn't put culture aside and complied with medical recommendations, the impact would have been worse. They had to adopt this clear mop-up technical strategy. They listened to the technical people. They designed uh, a strategy that monitored almost every household in the country. And that technical strategy has paid off. The outbreak that began in December 2013 has killed more than 11,000 people, the majority in Liberia. And Mosenero says, with Liberia now being Ebola-free, its strategy should be applied in Sierra Leone and Guinea. Guinea is going to remain a threat to its neighbors unless they can come in and come that disease. Because remember Ebola starts with one case. So unless they can also adopt that winning strategy, and it's an opportunity for these countries to learn from Liberia. The World Health Organization is recommending Liberia should continue with many of the control measures like surveying border areas that helped the country defeat the disease. But experts are also calling for more research. The next logical step is to follow the virus where it hides. We should not wait for the next epidemic in humans. Let's go and find where the virus hides and stop it there. The two other most affected countries, Guinea and Sierra Leone, are yet to be declared Ebola free. Though there is cautious optimism that the worst of the outbreak is now in the past. Experts, however, believe that addressing the factors that contributed to the spread of Ebola will be key in preventing any future outbreaks. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Kampala.